Salwete, y'all. Uh, this video is going to help walk you through the uh, Persona Altera um, uh, project. And uh, I might find some broken things as we go, so bear with me. Um, but ultimately, this is uh, supposed to be a creative and fun project and help you get you set up for our last thing. Um, so anyway, without further ado, here we go. So uh, you'll see this presentation in uh, It's Learning or next year, Canvas. Um, and I'm just going to kind of walk you through it. Um, second slide has instructions. That's where you found this video. Um, it says, follow the instructions on the following slides and templates to assemble a backstory for your Imperium character. Some of the information requested uh, will be newly created for this assignment, like you're going to write it today. And some of it will be things you've already done. And we're going to start with the things you might have already done, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, you'll both write the, uh, you'll see throughout this presentation, there are templates. Uh, Latin and English versions of what you come up with or what you've made. And uh, there's also a Google form uh, to submit these to. So once you write it on the slide, you'll just open up this Google form and copy paste um, the information. in. that's just so I have it somewhere where I can easily do stuff with it. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need the Imperium app, which I'll walk you through logging in and whatnot from your computer. Uh, sentence builders contained in this presentation. Pretty much everything you'll need is already in here or there are links to it and some creativity. Uh, so, uh, let's start with, uh, the, who are you? So this is for, uh, the Imperium app. Um, I will add a link actually right here, uh, for, um, the Imperium, oh, well, the Imperium app links on the previous page, but, um, one second, let me get that info and go ahead and copy paste it in here as well too. Okay. See, like I said, building the plane as we fly it. All right, so you're going to need to get the following information. The Latin and English version of your character story and appearance that you've made by following the character builder. And I'll show you both ways right here in a second. You're going to write that information on the following slide and you're going to submit it to the Google form. Um, I would suggest just finishing all the slides first, then copy pasting it all into the Google form afterwards. And this is where you're going to see the video uh, for how to do this. So, um, um, okay. So if uh, to get to Imperium, you follow the link. When you follow the link, you're going to get to a page like this. Um, you're going to sign in with Google. I would suggest that you uh, that you sign in with your school Google account. That's the one that I normally told you to do it with. Um, if you've already made your character and whatnot, uh, that's what we're going to start with. Otherwise, I'll show you what um, will happen. So when you open your app, sorry, you'll probably be on this page right here. Uh, to get to your character information, you're going to click the hamburger in the top right here. You're going to click on your profile picture right here, and that'll take you to your profile. Um, when you scroll down, you should see some red and yellow boxes, and these red and yellow boxes are where your information is going to come from. So last time I made this character, I made a, an adult German male soldier who wants to fight a wicked man, who wants to have a large ship and to have a lot of money or to love a lot of money. And then apparently my appearance is uh, I'm tall, thin, with very long gray hair and mysterious orange eyes, which is terrifying. Um, you got the Latin version of it right above. You should, at least. If it doesn't appear for you, let me know. Um, anyway, this is the information. So I'm going to take this information right here for Fabula Tua and uh, Cuomodo Videris, and I am going to... Um, write that over here in the Latin version side and uh, the English version from the yellow I'm going to put over on the right side and uh, you might be able to copy paste from the app. I'm not totally sure. Um, uh, or you might just have to write it out. Um, if you haven't made your character yet, then um, what you're going or if this information is incomplete or you want to change it, um, if you've already made your character, you'll click edit character. If you hadn't made your character yet, you're going to see a version of this screen where the buttons are red uh, and um, you'll only see one at a time. So you have to complete each step before you can do the next one um, and you can change anything in here. So if you were editing your character, uh, you can finish up with whichever your appearance or what you'll become, your different motivations and stuff that all kind of populates this and you can just click complete profile and that'll change your character and you can do that at any time. Okay, so that's how you get uh, the Fabula 2 and Quimoto Widerius uh, information for this slide. So moving on, this is where we'll start to get new information. Um, for those of you who are here on Friday, you kind of saw this stuff. Uh, Ubi UNS Eram means when I was young. Um, there's a sentence builder that you will find here. Uh, it'll take you to a Google Sheet. 
Um, and this is where uh, you kind of get a little creative and you're going to just kind of in the character of your person, you're going to write down what you, um, you know, what you would do for fun or what you remember, what you think your character remembers as a child. And it can be anywhere from playing with toy soldiers to doing the discus to writing romance stories or strange stories to playing with pets. And then you can, you know, find your dog down here. Um, just be creative with this and kind of use it as you need. Maybe not all of these require uh, one thing from each box or from each column. Uh, just kind of, you know, put together uh, a couple sentences about, you know, to try and like flesh out your character and say what they would do as a kid. Um, and you will put that information in on the following slide right here. Latin over here, English over here, and you'll submit that information to the Google form. These little links right here will link you right back to the uh, instructions page where you can get to the Google form right there. Like I said, you probably want to do that afterwards. Um, then lastly, you are going to describe your family. Um, this is your character's family, not necessarily yours. Uh, and so here's Sentence Builder. We'll take you to another slide uh, or another Google Sheet. And here you can describe... Uh, in your family, you have, you know, your father, uh, bro younger brother, uh, you got a grandfather, cousins. Um, if there are other people that you want me to help you figure out, um, I can do that. Uh, you'll see uh, their names already in here. We can change these names later. These are just examples. Um, and then down here uh, at the bottom, you can even say like my mom, who is a goddess, and my father, who is a mortal, or both your parents can be gods. Uh, if both your parents are mortal, you'll probably just do this up here. You'll say how old they are, and they can be anywhere from one year old up to 2,000 years old. Um, and hopefully you kind of get the idea here of how words are put together or numbers are put together. Uh, you'll see here uh, all the way up from 10 through uh, 19, and then uh, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then it kind of ends and then goes to 30, 40 because you've already seen the pattern. So like to say 31, you would say Trigenta Unum, 32, Trigenta Duo. Um, the weird thing is, is once you get within uh, like 18 and 19 or 29 or 28 and 29, instead of saying Wiginti et Octum, you're going to say Duo de Trigenta, three down from 30. That would be 28, one down from 30, Unum de um, sorry, un de trigenta, one down from 30 would be 29, so on and so forth. So it's a little weird. And uh, these last three here, it's like he was born, she was born two years. That's kind of the Roman way to say she's two years old, like she was born two years ago is essentially what they're saying. Or some uh, he has or who has three years is their way of saying he has three, he's three years old. He has three years. It's just kind of uh, these sentences don't literally translate to what we think they mean in English, but that's how it means. So if you say he was born two years or she, she has 15 years, that's basically the way of saying she is 15 years old. So in this uh, slide, you're going to um, give me the information of how many people are in your family, how old is each person, um, are your parents mortals or gods, making you either a mortal or a demigod? Um, with whom you get along well or poorly. And so you're going to need to come up with three or four sentences for this. Um, oops, sorry. Uh, to say you get along well and be bene con vivo, I get along well with my brother. Male con vivo, I get along poorly with, uh, you know, my cousin, I guess. Uh, you know, you don't have to say that. And you don't have to say you get along poorly with anybody. But if, you know, uh, you know, did you have a, a uh, to, did your character have a tumultuous childhood or a smooth childhood? You know, things like that. We can come up with more information to add to this later. Um, but these are just kind of examples. So be creative in how you uh, put these together. All right. And then you input that information in over here and you submit to the Google form. And that should be it for right now. That's uh, that's uh, the only part of this project for um, for the virtual week. So I'm gonna leave you here. Uh, there's a couple of other things to do, uh, some grammar quizzes that kind of go along with the sentence builders and stuff, just to kind of get you used to seeing things in the past tense. And we're gonna talk about that when we get back. So um, that's all I got. If you have any questions, please reach out, um, uh, you know, on it's learning um, and yeah. Voilà,